When they built a new Licking Valley High School a few years ago, there was an issue with the well water, higher than acceptable levels of arsenic, and the fix was not cheap. We have a, a massive water plant inside of our high school. We have an entire room that's dedicated to the tanks and the filtration system that are required to filter the water to make it safe for, for drinking. The US EPA's safe drinking water standard for arsenic is no more than 10 parts per billion. To stay under that, the school's system requires regular maintenance and frequent testing. Our last sample showed that we had about five parts per billion. That's half of the requirement. That's huge. I mean, we were hovering around the 10-11 mark. Arsenic exists naturally and is released from rocks and soil under certain conditions. It's not something that most household well owners are thinking about or testing for. The U.S. Geological Survey is offering free testing for arsenic for a limited number of Licking County wells. They hope to use the results to pinpoint areas of Licking County and then eventually the whole state that are hot spots for arsenic. So if we can identify the aquifers that are most likely to have arsenic, we can focus efforts in those areas. Studies have shown that prolonged and regular exposure to high levels of arsenic in your drinking water can lead to serious health problems. We've also seen the associated and increased incidence of a number of different types of cancers with these high level exposures. And that's primarily skin, bladder, uh, kidney, and lung cancer.